Jeff Smith, and I am so excited to be a part of the WTOL 11 team, bringing you stories each and every night, your stories also keeping you informed. Now, here are 11 things you need to know about me. I've grown up in Toledo. So many great memories of this region. Remember Godfather's Pizza, Northtown and Southwick Mall and the Red Baron Game Center, Peaches Records and Tapes, and of course, the video connection. I went to school right here at St. Francis de Sales High School. I went to junior high over at Christ the King on Harvest Lane, an elementary school out in Temperance at Jackman Road Elementary. Education is so important to me. Recently, I went back to school and got a master's degree down at BGSU. You know what? I actually was a teacher for some time, teaching, you guessed it, journalism, both at St. Francis and at BGSU. And I have so much respect and fondness for the teachers who helped to make me what I am today. I love to tell stories about the auto industry. I know how important it is to this region. My mom worked for GM for 30 years. So I love it when all those new brand models come out and we get to feature those each and every year. My first job was working over at Brown Pontiac as a 16 year old. I was a lot boy. I was responsible for driving the cars, parking them, lining them up, washing them. Great, great job right out of the gate. Couple other loves to tell you about. I love to cook. I don't always hit a home run, but a lot of singles and doubles mixed in there. My mom was a great, is a great cook. My grandmothers were great cooks. And I picked up a few things when I worked as a waiter over at Chow in Sylvania. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, the three most important meals of the day, right? Well, you know what? You can find me with a cup of coffee, every single one of those. I love baseball. I love the camaraderie. I love analyzing it. I love watching it. And I used to love playing it. But now I get to share the love for that game with my kids at home. I like to play golf. Not very good at it. I'll probably never get rid of that double-digit handicap. But I love the landscape. I love to watch the game. And I love the camaraderie you, you build when you're out there playing with a bunch of buddies. Family is so important to me. My wife, Lisa, and me, we have three kids, two of them teenagers. My oldest son, he was born during a tornado warning back in the summer of 2006. People wanted us to name Storm, but we went another direction. And my eldest, my daughter, PJ, she's such an inspiration to us. She has been battling arthritis since she was three years old, but she's a great athlete. She's a great student. She's beautiful. She's kind. And she handles this affliction with such maturity and grace. We love her so, so very much. A lot of great organizations around the Toledo area. One of those, the Greater Toledo Community Foundation. I have, in the past, shared just one day with them when they honor those who go above and beyond the call of duty. But it's the 364 other days that are so important, them finding the financial footing for those organizations that do so much for so many. Well, that's 11 things you know now about me. Be sure to join Melissa Andrews and me each weeknight on WTOL 11. Well, he may be the newest member of the WTOL 11 staff, but he's certainly no stranger to Toledo Television. We're getting to know WTOL 11 evening anchor Jeff Smith this morning. Jeff, we just watched your top 11, so uh, so good to, to get to know a little bit more about you. And we thought we'd maybe expand a little bit more upon uh, those uh, top 11 uh, things to know about Jeff. Good morning. Thanks for joining us today. Hi there. Good morning. I, I just saw the reflection of how bright the light was this morning trying to <laughs> I think it was trying to widen my eyes a little bit after staying up for that Browns game last hey, night. Hey, how about that? So I, you said that you uh, you like baseball and you like golf, but how about football? Are you Browns fan? I, I, I can't swear allegiance to the Browns. I have uh, I've gone through this lifetime uh, being a Detroit Lions fan and uh -huh. a Cincinnati Bengals fan. But um, I'll tell you what, that team is fun to watch. Yeah, and I think just you, you kind of feel for Browns fans. You know, they've been waiting for a long time, but maybe they could get a win every once in a while, right? <laughs> Absolutely. It's like being a Reds fan. Oh, <laughs> don't get me started. It's a tough thing. How about the Buckeyes? Because there's a big game tonight. Well, I'll tell you what. I went to Indiana University, so I do swear allegiance to the Big Ten. Man, I'll be pulling for the Buckeyes tonight. I hope they do well. Well, when it comes to playing Alabama, right? You have right. to. You have to. So, Jeff, it's wonderful to have you here on our team. We're, we're so excited to have you here. Uh, tell me what you're most looking forward to, uh, to starting off fresh with us. 
Well, I'll tell you what, one of the things that has been so, uh, I guess, important to me over the years has been, uh, and as you learned it in the 11 things that we were talking to you about there, I didn't know if I had much more to say, <laughs> but I have been so blessed with being able to be here in my hometown and, you know, reconnect uh, with a lot of the folks that I grew up around. And I know these organizations very well. I know a lot of the players. Uh, and it's important to me to be able to share those stories again here with WTOL 11 and share it to the WTOL 11 audience. You know, you were used to waking up you know, dark and early. Now you're going to be up late at night. How is that? How is that adjustment working out for you? It's it's weird driving home at midnight. I'll tell you that uh, as opposed to driving to work at two in the morning. But uh, it's just one of those swing shifts. I'll tell you what it is uh, one of those things. And Melissa and Robert and Jordan, they've all been helping me along the way with some <laughs> tips and tricks to uh, work in the night side. Yeah, it's a you, you'll get used to it. And I'm sure, uh, you know, grow to grow to love it. You talk a lot about your kids. Um, how, how much does it mean to you to be able to be here in the Toledo area? area and and help them grow up here and and work here well i hope it's cool for them you know occasionally they say they get comments at school or things like that but uh the one thing that's so very important to me obviously family and we've talked about it i know with you as well um but it's 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 important to be able to be here, see them grow, have a schedule that allows me to occasionally get away, see a swim meet, see a baseball game. And uh, my my youngest, my eight-year-old uh, Keaton, who is just starting to get his swing into sports and things like that. So, uh, and school obviously has been, and for everybody out there, you know how challenging this year has been. But uh, we are learning as parents as well as to the teaching role that we have played during during this pandemic. I, I can't even imagine. I have a three-year-old, and I think about you guys who are doing remote learning, and I have no idea uh, how you how you guys do it every day. But um, what about this this past year and this pandemic and being a journalist? How has that been for you as a journalist this year, covering all of this and even being all in, in the thick of it as a parent as well? Well, I think you want to you want to show empathy with every single story that you tell. You know that, Amanda. And one of the things that I've noticed is recognizing all of the uh, the trials and the tribulations that parents have been going through. That kind of echo what we see in our household here. With you know whether it be catching up with technology or being able to, uh, I guess, have the time to not only do your day job, but also commit during the morning hours or during the evening hours uh, to help out the kids. Now, I, I'm not going to tell you that my two older kids, uh, who are 16 and 14, aren't on autopilot most days, and we have to check <laughs> in and make sure everything's going all right. But uh, with our uh, eight-year-old, you know, we're, we're kind of over the shoulder making sure that things go smoothly. And I've said it before, and I know I've posted online a number of times, just talking about the champions and the heroes that these teachers in Northwest Ohio and Southeastern Michigan have, be, uh, have been. And of course, not just them, but teachers all across the country who have had to adapt and pivot and um, get used to this new normal for a while. So you're right along there uh, with all the parents out there and all our viewers. You know, we're all, as we've been saying, you know, we're working on this uh, to get through it together. And we are so excited to have you with us, Jeff. And uh, folks can check you out, of course, tonight at 5 o'clock. Thanks for waking up for us this morning. <laughs> Absolutely. Great to be with you guys. Now to more coffee. Uh, yes. <laughs> Cheers to that. Take care, Jeff.